Today I want to show you a quick repair for your armrest. I happen to have cracks in the armrest of my wife's car, an Astro van. Uh, so we went to the fabric store, found some vinyl that matched the armrest, got some silicone caulking and some 3M contact adhesive. The first step is to fill the cracks with silicone caulking. So you can see I'm using a clear silicone caulking, but it starts out white. Uh, I like this because I can see when it's dry and when I can start sanding. So you want to use a putty knife to work it down, all the way down into the cracks. Uh, the reason for doing this is to keep those cracks from transferring. Now you need to sand off all the edges so that the vinyl is smooth and the silicone comes to the top. You see it's not quite filled to the top, so I'm going back and refilling the cracks with silicone using the putty knife to try and make a nice smooth surface so that those cracks don't transfer through the new vinyl. Now I'm taking a piece of vinyl and I'm cutting it to the rough dimensions that I want to use for the door handle uh, or armrest. And now I need to take off the door handle. This takes uh, star 25 or T25 and a star ratchet, uh, two bolts, and the handle comes right off. And this will allow me to wrap the vinyl around and hide it with the handle. So now I'm making the final pattern. Uh, you got to make sure that the vinyl is tucked in at the top and then stretched around to the bottom where you want it to go. Uh, now I'm cutting it to shape and actually cutting it just a little bit large because I want to make sure that again I reach the full surface and sometimes it's, it's difficult to get the final shape and size while you're working without it being glued down. So up here at the top what I'm doing is cutting a wedge out because the fabric has to wrap around a corner and I want to make a nice even seam there. So if I cut the wedge, then the two pieces can match up, and then I cut a wedge on the other side. Now finally, I'm sanding in between the cracks to make sure that I get good adhesion for, from the cement, because I wasn't sure how well it would adhere to the silicone, so I wanted to remove the silicone in between those cracks. And then I need to mask the door off. Uh, this will prevent me from getting the spray adhesive onto the other parts of the door. Uh, basically, just like painting, you want to keep it where you really want it. Uh, so masking tape and some newspaper and cover up everything you don't want the vinyl to adhere to. Now we're using a 3M product for vinyl and rubber and they say to spray it on in two directions. You know, they want you to make sure that the whole surface is covered. Uh, so make sure you get it all. Uh, you spray the fabric as well, and then you let it dry for about four minutes before you come back and you start putting it on. So start at the top, use a putty knife to work it into the back crack, and then the putty knife to work it down the sides to make sure there's no air bubbles in there, and you get a nice snug fit. Then before finishing the bottom, I go ahead and cut it to size. Uh, now that I have it adhered, I can really get it a perfect size down there and use the putty knife to push it down into the bottom crack and get a perfect fit on the bottom. The last part I need to do is this end and being that this was one of my first attempts it was kind of a challenge to get it right. Luckily it wraps around the top so I took the vinyl and wrapped it around so that the seam would be down below and be hidden by the door and now I'm just cutting it so that the two pieces match up and nice fit. Take the masking tape and paper off, put the handle back on, and there you go. You have a nice prepared armrest. Uh, those cracks were really uncomfortable and now they're nice and smooth 